Festival. Lee, you're on the air. Hello, Dr. Wallach. I'm 74 years old, and I've got a little uh, high blood pressure, not excessively, but I've uh, had a couple of cardiac stents put in uh, my heart arteries, and uh, one was about 20 years ago, one was about five years ago. And the doctors are trying to get me to uh, take a, a medication called Effient. Have you ever heard of that? No, sir, don't know it. What is it supposed to do? Uh, it's supposed to prevent uh, further clogging of the arteries. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, let's see, the technical, the, the uh, chemical name is prosugrel. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Nah, I'd have to look it up. Don't have time to do that. Okay. Okay. How much do you weigh, sir? Uh, 130. Okay. Do you have any other issues other than high blood pressure and a history of coronary stents being installed? Do you have any, for instance, like um, diabetes or arthritis? Uh, no, my uh, bladder uh, wasn't working quite right, and uh, I've, I've been um, taking some steps about that. I've forgotten the name of the stuff. They uh, okay. Well, do you do you have a history of a back problem, low back problem? No. Okay. Do your knees pop and crack when you squat down? Well, just because I'm 74, everything pops and cracks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, how much have you shrunk since you were 20? How much have you shrunk in height? Uh, I think I'm about the same height that I always was. I came out of high school, mm-hmm. about 5'8". Uh, I... Okay, well, make sure you measure yourself and see if you're truly 5'8 or if you're 5'6. You want to test it out, right? Uh, uh, trust yeah. but verify. You want to check it out. Uh, I would be amazed if you're exactly the same height as you were in, in high school. But like you say, everything's popping and cracking, so you do have some osteoporosis. You've got some arthritis, and that can go along with high blood pressure. And uh, what is it you weigh? Oh, um, you said 130, 140. Yeah, my hand was my hand was covered the, the double there. I'm sorry. Okay, Charmaine, what would you do for this fine gentleman, Lee? Seventy-four years old. He has stents put in his coronary artery, and he has high blood pressure, and he's got some arthritis. I would get him on a healthy brain and heart pack, and I would also add the cardio uh, sticks, the niacin plus, and the uh, ultimate daily classic. And I would also add the glucose gel for the uh, other. You problems. get a plus. Yep. Yeah. One healthy brain and heart pack, um, and uh, divide everything in half. Take a half a dose during the breakfast and dinner, and then also get the um, ultimate daily classic tablets. I'd get two bottles a month, so you can take three at breakfast, three at dinner time. Uh, get um, uh, one box of the uh, Ultimate Cardio Sticks, a uh, box of 30. You can take the one, put in a bottle of water in the morning, drink half of it in the morning, put in the refrigerator, and then drink the second half in the afternoon. Get one bottle a month of the Ultimate um, uh, Niacin Plus, uh, one bottle a month. So you can take one at breakfast, one at dinner time. And the Niacin Plus is time release and non flush. It and the Ultimate Cardio Sticks and the Ultimate Daily Classic Tablets are designed to support and promote healthy blood flow through obstructed arteries, to support and promote um, healthy uh, blood pressure. And, so, and the, well, Char, what causes blocked arteries? Is it cholesterol? No, 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 no. It's, it's oils, like olive oil. Yeah, inflammation causing oxidized oils. Okay, so we're talking about fried foods, processed meats with nitrates and nitrites. We're talking about uh, oils, microwave popcorn, theater popcorn, olive oil, coconut oil, margarines, mayonnaise, celery, and cooking oils because they all oxidize and turn into trans fats, heterocyclic amines, and acrylamides. They cause inflammation to the lining of the arteries, and the artery responds by making scar tissue, which becomes the plaque, not cholesterol, not saturated fat. That was a big failed theory. And then, of course, um, you want to make sure um, that there's no gluten so we can uh, maximally absorb the nutrients. Okay. Um, that would be you. You want to make sure, Lee, that you're no gluten, no wheat, brother, and oats that would include any dog food in the house, cat food, bird food, fish food, spouse, partner, renter, mother-in-law, anybody in the household 